Hey, uh, and yourself, welcome to Kudu Jesus channel. In this video, we will learn how to update a uh, state or a list, how to update a list in ReactJS. For example, you have a list of element, you would like to update the states. So, how to do this? So, we will learn in this video. So, let's start. Then. First of all, I will import the React and I will create a new list and I will return elements to the page. And I will create a list first of all. For example, I have a list. Const list. Do I have an array of objects? Array ID one, name for example, HP, and also then done. It means we have a to do list whenever the task is done, so that should be marked as a done. Okay, for, for, for right now we didn't done the, uh, the task, so it is false with us. Okay, I have another second one, so I will change the ID, it should be unique, and also I have, for example, I will just change this name, play, and also read. And it is false. Okay, I have these two tasks, so I didn't done, I didn't do yet. So they are false with me. Whenever I will, I perform them, so I, they should be marked as done. Okay. So now let's do this. First of all, I will show this list. So I will just come here, and I will use the map function to show this list. List dot map, and here if I take a function, and I will pass uh, an attribute to this. I pass the parameter. So now what I should do, I will return a list of elements and I will just return a P, okay. Here I will just show the element L dot name, I will show this and also here I will pass a key to this one, the key should be unique, so L dot ID. So now let's run the server, the server is already run, I will import, I will export this function, okay, export default. List. Okay, I have exported it and also I have imported here in this index page. So now I have already run the server and start. So now let's see. Yeah, we have these two elements. Okay, see it? We have these two elements now. So now whenever we click on uh, one of them, so that should be marked as done. For example, we should uh, line through and style it. I will just come here. Here I will apply style on this element text decoration I, I, I just I will change the color for example color here I will use terminal operator L dot done if L dot done if the done property was true so it what it should do so it will assign red color otherwise nothing okay it will be the black so I style this element so now let's apply and click uh, event on this Whenever I click on this, we click on this element. For example, I will call a function toggle handle toggle like. I will just call this function and I will create this function and toggle. And also, I will pass an element. I will pass the ID of this element. I will pass. I will use here the arrow function and pass the ID. On the one we click, we will pass that ID to this function. So I will use l dot ID. Yeah, this will be passed to this function. So here I should update the state. Yeah, to update that, first of all, we will use the state react that state. Use use state, okay? Yeah, use state. I have used that. This hook I will use, and also for this hook uh, here we have in this it is the name and it is the function we use to set list. We would like to update using this function, and uh, list is the name. I will import that use state. I imported that. So now let's here apply our update. I will create a new list is equal to. I will use the map function to look through these elements. List dot map. Here I will pass the function a uh, parameter. For example, L. And also now let's what to do now. Here I will use L dot l dot id was equal to equal to with id whenever these two id became same or equal so we will update the state for that element okay so here i will use now the ternary operator yeah the ternary operator here yeah when these two ids has become equal so now the ternary operator will ternary operator will do this task we will use read operator and now we will just update the done property okay so to update that we will assign to the done not l dot 
done okay it will assign it was false so it will assign the not of that it means that it will assign the true to the done if uh, these two id were not equal otherwise it will be the same that list okay it will assign that the previous that list so it was all about that so now we will update the um, state we will assign new list new updated test so now let's see guys what will happen whenever we click on a list so that will change the color of that one because we change the color here we change the color to red because we never um, the id that the property of done has become true so it will change the color yeah let's see that what happened see that the color has changed also we can change the name of that okay to change the name yeah just simply come here and just write here the name for example i will assign the name new name or new role yeah let's see see that new role the name has changed also so it was all about how to update um in a list using react if you like the video please subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching